What's going on guys, Biggs with Custom Offsets. Today we got another reviewing Employees First Rides. You guys love this series. Today we're gonna bring in a few people that you might not have ever seen on video before, so it should be pretty interesting to see what they rolled around when they got their first truck. So for that, let's get into it. Before we get started, if you guys need wheels, tires, or suspension, head on over to customassets.com and pick yourself up some stuff to make your first truck uh, more desirable. All right, first up we have Travis. Travis is the new Anthem videographer and he's already doing some dope stuff with Anthem and this is his first ever appearance in a video. Uh, Travis has a pretty dope truck and he has some pretty cool future plans for it, I would imagine. So what is your first truck? What are you driving right now? What did you do to it so far? All right, so my first truck is actually the one I'm currently driving right now. Um, it's a GMC. Sierra 1500. Um, it's the 2013, so it's just before the 2014 model, the newer style came out. Um, it's the SLE, which is like the special luxury edition, which I like because it has all the nice um, leather interior. It has uh, the chrome editions, it has a nice chrome look to it. And then yet again, it's the GFX version, which I love driving it. It's a crew cab. I've done a lot to it so far. I'm excited to see what I do to it later on. Put an MBRP exhaust system on there, full exhaust system, um, three inch tip. I put a 6.75 inch screen in there, put 15% tint on there. Uh, I got aftermarket headlights and then uh, rough country. Got to go with the rough country uh, light bar yeah. to it. You got the amber light to it also. That's dope. And uh, you can always flash people on the highway if they ever just tick you off, you know. There you go. Yeah, I've done a few things to it. Um, like I said, now I just need to uh, maybe invest in some new wheels, Anthem. We'll go from there. All right, that's what Travis's build's gonna look like. I kind of hope he goes with the new Anthem Rogues. If you guys didn't know, uh, Anthem is dropping the Rogue and you guys have probably already seen it by now. Uh, it's a pretty sweet wheel and it looks good on just about any truck build. So we're gonna pull someone else in and go over what they are gonna build or have built. All right, next up we have Coda. Coda, what was your first truck and what did you do to it? My first truck was a 99 Dodge Ram 1500 with a 5.9 360 engine in it. I got it for my 16th birthday for my dad, so it was given to me. I didn't pay for my first truck. I didn't pay for my first truck either, so that's okay. Thankful Daddy's for Daddy's money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I took it. First thing that he said to me was, here you go, don't cut the exhaust off of it. What did you do? About two days later, <laughs> I cut the exhaust <laughs> off of it. I thought, all right, well, there it all started from there, you know? Yeah, what do you I do now? I bedlined the bottom of it, made it black. I bedlined all the things, spray painted all the things. The bumper, oh. took the back bumper off because I thought that looked cool. And then uh, put every single decal I possibly could on the back window so I couldn't see anything and got pulled over all the time. Uh, car chalk and left it on for about five months <laughs> so that it would never come off. Oh. I did My buy a body lift for it. Oh. I bought a three inch body it lift. It keeps getting worse, folks. And I was like, all right, here's my first actual modification that I can do to this truck to make it not stop. So body lift came in and I called all my friends to see if I could borrow their shop for like six hours because that's what it said the duration on the body lift install was. I feel like it would take longer <laughs> than that. I ended up getting about halfway through, no idea what I was doing and took it to an actual shop and they finished it in about two days, so. <laughs> Yikes. All right, folks, I don't know why we have not had Coda on a previous episode before we got to episode three because <laughs> this is the epitome of like, you get your first truck, you wanna modify it the best you possibly can on a budget and he did Everything. Oh, you, I was full high schooler status. Yeah, literally like, everything. You I got didn't, the rattle can out, you yeah. got the bed line out, like everything that a high schooler would do to their first truck, Coda did it. Yeah, I didn't even get like aftermarket wheels. I took my actual wheels and I just spray painted them black. Oh my, <laughs> like, like you spray painted them? Not even like Plasti Dip or like try to do it the right way? No, like, just spray paint. Semi right way if you're gonna try to do black that. Black $2 spray paint from Oh Walmart. God, this is bad. That was it. Other than that, yeah, I found this giant like 70 ton shackle and I put it on my hitch because I thought that was cool. Oh God. But it got stolen last year, so. Last year, so that means he had this truck for. Well, I didn't know. I actually took the shackle off because I kept thinking that it was cool and just put it on every <laughs> oh new truck God. that I had. No, that was my first build. 
um, build, I guess you could call it. Yeah. I just kind of took it and made it mine. Yeah, but. and that that's exactly what we want from this series mm -hmm. is kind of like what you did to make it your own because none of us had money back. Like none of us had money for our first truck. So like, what do you do to right. it? Do you know, your sticker bomb it, you spray paint shit that you probably shouldn't spray paint. And mm -hmm. You buy your eBay headlights yeah. and taillights yep. and then you, you hit a deer and you break them out like a week later like I did. And <laughs> yes, Coda is everything this series should be. <laughs> All right, let's go through your build now though. Cause you, you know, you you recently finished a really sweet build. Yeah. So, so um, this truck right now, it's still a second gen Dodge and it's a 99 Dodge Ram 1500, but with a 5.2, 318 in it this time. And uh, I started completely bone stock, bought it for $300. It had rust and dents on every single body panel on the entire truck. Um, and then I just took it. I made it completely rust free, did all the body work myself. The only thing I didn't do was paint it. I had my buddy Jack over at Leon's paint it, did the lift kit. It, had the lift kit all painted contrast gold and then threw some racing seats in it because that's different you don't yeah. see a lifted truck on racing seats yep. but a five inch suspension lift for much rough country two and a half inch coil spacer up front and uh five inch in the rear 35 13 and a half amp mud terrains done 24 by 14 archon lincolns with three inch spacers courtesy of junior right off of his bronco build hell yeah <laughs> other than that just little miscellaneous stuff like headlights taillights five percent tint from fine line performance i'll be bringing it to daytona this year yeah so. so stay tuned for that if you're going to daytona you did this truck the right way i mean you probably had a little more funds to do it the right way and it turned out out crazy oh, like it was all on a budget though it took me about mean, three years to finish it up to where it is now yeah but. like just the transformation of what that looked like before to what it looks like now is pretty crazy a lot of work was put into it yeah i'm fairly happy with it i'm yeah. not quite done with it yet but it, it'll be nice to see where it goes all right that completes coda's first truck and his current truck we're gonna pull someone else in and that's pretty dope hell yeah hell yeah hell yeah hell yeah, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. all right next up we have dustin dustin what do you do here uh, a lot i lead the graphic design department so all of the the photos and whatnot that you see on the front end, my team creates. All right, what was your first truck and what did you do to it? I bought a 2005 Dodge Ram Daytona 1500 that I thought was fucking awesome. Everyone's first truck is amazing to them, but you know, looking back, I'm like, eh, my truck actually wasn't that cool. No, this one was not that cool either. Came from Northern California. I came to Wisconsin shortly thereafter, realized a truck was a necessity here. The car that I had wasn't cutting it. So I hopped on good old Craigslist. I went and found this truck. You know, from the photos, I was like, all right, it looks a little goofy. I think we can work with it though. And we went over there, it was, I think it was eight grand or something like that and it was my first like kind of i'm gonna go to the bank and buy this thing and and, and purchase it and I, I i got there and i was like you know maybe it's not for me but we can get into why i ended up buying it if you will yeah go for it so i got to the guy's house and so it was a single cab 2005 dodge ram daytona it was white it had double wide fender flares in the rear on oh. both and I was like, okay. I, I had to ask, go like, what the hell is this, you know? <laughs> and so anyway, the guy used to drag race the truck. So oh. he used to take it to the track and he had like 20 inch wide, like tie, wheels and tires or whatever on it. But I didn't want those, right? you know? So now I had a truck with double wide, it was like dually fender flares <laughs> on a single cab Dodge Ram 1500, right? That had stock wheel wheels and tires on right so oh, i was like okay this looks a little goofy so my first question was can i take these off and yeah. you know the answer was yeah and my next question i said does it have an exhaust and the guy said no and instantly i was kind of like okay i'm a little deterred from buying this thing I, whatever like that, that as a 19 year old kid i That's was like the selling i <laughs> i need an exit like i need this thing to start and sound good and I, he was like let me start it for you so he went in the house and grabbed the key and he went to start it and it was the meanest sounding truck I feel like I've ever been around in my life. He was lying completely, you know, like it definitely had an oh, exhaust. Yeah. I, I don't know what the exhaust was, but I think it was like three and a half inch straight pipes from like the headers back or something. It was oh. gross. But anyway, so I, it, right when he started it, I was like, okay, I'll buy it. I'll figure everything else out. <laughs> yeah. I, I'll figure everything else out down the road, whatever. I'll buy the truck. And mind you, he tried to sell me those 20 inch wide wheels and tires or whatever. He wanted like the same price as the truck for whatever these were. So yeah, like, I don't, no I don't know what they were, whatever. Anyhow, I had the truck. I. I guess my first step was like, okay, you got to make, you know, wheels kind of cool or whatever. And I went to, I think the good old 19 year old route of grabbing Plasti Dip and, yep. you know, hitting up the stock, you know, Ram wheels. It was like the five spoke, like bubble looking oh. wheels or whatever. And so we sprayed those down. And then the next step was, okay, I got to remove these fender flares. I went over to my buddy John's house. I was like, help me take these off. And we took them off and the guy completely had lied to me, like a hundred percent in its entirety. 
Uh, <laughs> they were like welded now. Yeah. Oh, they no, were? no, they weren't welded, but <laughs> it, it, the truck was painted with these on there. So I started oh. finding history of this truck yep. as I went down the road that it had been like rolled in a ditch at one point in time and it had been like upside down. And the guy's dad was like a body shop guy and yeah. ended up fixing it. And I knew it had like a whatever title rebuild or whatever yeah. the hell it was, but anyways, whatever. So we ended up taking the fender flares off and it exposed complete bare metal, right? In like <laughs> a half moon on the, uh, I, I was tired of being known as the, the single cab dually guy, yep. you know, that doesn't have <laughs> the, the four wheels on yeah. the back. I took them off and it exposed this half moon of bare metal that I was like, okay, well maybe I can get like regular fender flares to cover it. So I bought those and no, there's still, you know, three inches of, yeah. three inches of bare metal oh, that so went all the way around. Massive. They were huge, yeah, yeah. Like I said, the truck though, it was, it was a trusty vehicle for me. It sounded awesome, it always drove awesome. I think it only had 50,000 miles on it or That's something. So it wasn't, it wasn't like beat to, yeah, I guess it, it was. It, it was makeup on a pig, but it looked and yeah, yeah, it was like rolled in a ditch at one point in time or whatever. But, but at the end of the day, it still got me to where I needed to go. Hell yeah. I drove it to California and back probably nine times or whatever the case was. I, I drove it around when I lived in Southern California. I double limo tinted all the windows so I couldn't see a damn thing out of it. You know, once it turned dark out, the size out of the windshield, I had to back up. I had to roll down the windows, but I, you know, I was, you know, I felt that was cool. But yeah, no, that was that, that was really it. It was a it, it was a good vehicle for me. I tried to race every other truck I saw on the road because this thing was like a Street hem, truck. Hemi and a a little mini truck it was kind of fast yeah um four-wheel drive still um, oh really yeah it was like i said it was a good truck it had like the daytona badges in there with the model number and Hell and yeah. whatnot and it had a wing i didn't even talk about that so oh, it, it had, had oh, it had like it had like a it had like a tonneau cover that was on with hydraulics the but the wing was on the tonneau oh, okay so that that got taken off immediately right into i think a dumpster <laughs> I don't think I tried to sell it or anything. It was just right into the dumpster. I was like, the wings got to go. I was literally known as the guy. They would be like, bro, that's your truck. And they like turn and laugh and shit. Knowing you now though, the car you have now and everything like that you're about, it kind of fits you though for that first truck. Right, No, I, I like, loved it. Like, like you stepping out of that truck, that's fitting for your first like vehicle. Right, and I'm still with uh, I'm still with the, the same girl I was when I had that truck. She misses it, she loved it. She used to drive it around Dude, all over the place. That's crazy. And I would definitely buy another not so shitty single cab Dodge Ram Daytona of that year again like I, I absolutely love the truck now I have you know a kid and whatnot I gotta worry about but right. if I as long as I have my car I, I would definitely buy another I forgot to mention if you want a chance to win a full build of fuel wheels Falcon tires and zone suspension head on over to customoffsets.com forward slash giveaway and pick up a t-shirt and you can be entered in a chance you know, to win that full build for the price of a t-shirt. And it's also helping a great cause with the American Cancer Society. All right, that's what we have on today's video. Don't forget to pound that subscribe vid button video. Keep that. Video, don't forget to subscribe to keep up. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Dude, that was the best one too. That's what we have on today's video. Don't forget to sub. All right, that's what we have on today's video. Don't forget. <laughs> <laughs> fucking god dude now we got <laughs> alright that's what we have on today's video for you do not forget to subscribe to keep up to date with all of our content peace <laughs>